July 22, Hezekiah's sickness and recovery. About that time, Hezekiah became deathly ill, and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to visit him. He gave the king this message. This is what the Lord says, Set your affairs in order, for you are going to die. You will not recover from this illness. When Hezekiah heard this, he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O Lord, how I have always been faithful to you and have served you single-mindedly, always doing what pleases you. Then he broke down and wept bitterly. But before Isaiah had left the middle courtyard, this message came to him from the Lord. Go back to Hezekiah, the leader of my people. Tell him, This is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. And three days from now, you will get out of bed and go to the temple of the Lord. I will add fifteen years to your life, and I will rescue you in this city from the king of Assyria. I will defend this city for my own honor and for the sake of my servant David. Then Isaiah said, Make an ointment from figs. So Hezekiah's servants spread the ointment over the boil, and Hezekiah recovered. Meanwhile, Hezekiah had said to Isaiah, What sign will the Lord give to prove that he will heal me, and that I will go to the temple of the Lord three days from now? Isaiah replied, This is the sign from the Lord to prove that he will do as he promised. Would you like the shadow on the sundial to go forward ten steps or backward ten steps? The shadow always moves forward, Hezekiah replied, so that would be easy. Make it go ten steps backward instead. So Isaiah the prophet asked the Lord to do this, and he caused the shadow to move ten steps backward on the sundial of Ahaz. From Isaiah, Hezekiah's Sickness and Recovery About that time Hezekiah became deathly ill, and the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to visit him. He gave the king this message. This is what the Lord says. Set your affairs in order, for you are going to die. You will not recover from this illness. When Hezekiah heard this, he turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, Remember, O Lord, how I have always been faithful to you and have served you single-mindedly, always doing what pleases you. Then he broke down and wept bitterly. Then this message came to Isaiah from the Lord. Go back to Hezekiah and tell him, This is what the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add fifteen years to your life, and I will rescue you and this city from the king of Assyria. Yes, I will defend this city. And this is the sign from the Lord to prove that he will do as he promised. I will cause the sun's shadow to move ten steps backward on the sundial of Ahaz. So the shadow on the sundial moved backward ten steps. From Second Chronicles About that time, Hezekiah became deathly ill. He prayed to the Lord who healed him and gave him a miraculous sign. But Hezekiah did not respond appropriately to the kindness shown him, and he became proud. So the Lord's anger came against him and against Judah and Jerusalem. Then Hezekiah humbled himself and repented of his pride, as did the people of Jerusalem. So the Lord's anger did not fall on them during Hezekiah's lifetime. Hezekiah was very wealthy and highly honored. He built special treasury buildings for his silver, gold, precious stones, and spices, and for his shields and other valuable items. He also constructed many storehouses for his grain, new wine, and olive oil, and he made many stalls for his cattle and pens for his flocks of sheep and goats. He built many towns and acquired vast flocks and herds, for God had given him great wealth. He blocked up the upper spring of Gihon and brought the water down through a tunnel to the west side of the city of David. And so he succeeded in everything he did. However, when ambassadors arrived from Babylon to ask about the remarkable events that had taken place in the land, God withdrew from Hezekiah in order to test him and to see what was really in his heart. From Isaiah, Hezekiah's Poem of Praise When King Hezekiah was well again, he wrote this poem. I said, In the prime of my life, must I now enter the place of the dead? 
Am I to be robbed of the rest of my years? I said, Never again will I see the Lord God while still in the land of the living. Never again will I see my friends or be with those who live in this world. My life has been blown away like a shepherd's tent in a storm. It has been cut short as when a weaver cuts cloth from a loom. Suddenly my life was over. I waited patiently all night, but I was torn apart as though by lions. Suddenly my life was over. Delirious, I chattered like a swallow or a crane, and then I moaned like a morning dove. My eyes grew tired of looking to heaven for help. I am in trouble, Lord, help me. But what could I say? For he himself sent this sickness. Now I will walk humbly throughout my years because of this anguish I have felt. Lord, your discipline is good, for it leads to life and health. You restore my health and allow me to live. Yes, this anguish was good for me, for you have rescued me from death and forgiven all my sins. For the dead cannot praise you, they cannot raise their voices in praise. Those who go down to the grave can no longer hope in your faithfulness. Only the living can praise you as I do today. Each generation tells of your faithfulness to the next. Think of it, the Lord is ready to heal me. I will sing his praises with instruments every day of my life in the temple of the Lord. Isaiah had said to Hezekiah's servants, Make an ointment from figs and spread it over the boil, and Hezekiah will recover. And Hezekiah had asked, What sign will prove that I will go to the temple of the Lord? Envoys from Babylon Soon after this, Merodach Baladin, son of Baladin, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah his best wishes and a gift, for he had heard that Hezekiah had been very sick. Hezekiah received the Babylonian envoys and showed them everything in his treasure houses, the silver, the gold, the spices, and the aromatic oils. He also took them to see his armory and showed them everything in his royal treasuries. There was nothing in his palace or kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked him, What did those men want? Where were they from? Hezekiah replied, They came from the distant land of Babylon. What did they see in your palace? Isaiah asked. They saw everything, Hezekiah replied. I showed them everything I own, all my royal treasuries. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Listen to this message from the Lord. The time is coming when everything in your palace, all the treasures stored up by your ancestors until now, will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left says the Lord. Some of your very own sons will be taken away into exile. They will become eunuchs who will serve in the palace of Babylon's king. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, This message you have given me from the Lord is good. For the king was thinking, At least there will be peace and security during my lifetime. From Isaiah and Voice from Babylon Soon after this, Merodach Baladin, son of Baladin, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah his best wishes and a gift. He had heard that Hezekiah had been very sick and that he had recovered. Hezekiah was delighted with the Babylonian envoys and showed them everything in his treasure houses, the silver, the gold, the spices, and the aromatic oils. He also took them to see his armory and showed them everything in his royal treasuries. There was nothing in his palace or kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked him, What did those men want? Where were they from? Hezekiah replied, They came from the distant land of Babylon. What did they see in your palace? asked Isaiah. They saw everything, Hezekiah replied. I showed them everything I own, all my royal treasuries. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Listen to this message from the Lord of Heaven's armies. The time is coming when everything in your palace, all the treasures stored up by your ancestors until now, will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. Some of your very own sons will be taken away into exile. They will become eunuchs who will serve in the palace of Babylon's king. Then Hezekiah said to Isaiah, This message you have given me from the Lord is good, for the king was thinking, At least there will be peace and security during my lifetime.